Translation in English is the strong one. And so if you are ready to enjoy our first film tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I give you 
the strong one. Thank you and enjoy. How you saw this movie by your shouting and clapping. So ladies and gentlemen, we just saw the strongest one. Wow. Wow. Thank you. And this is just to inform you if you want to use the washroom or let's enjoy this film and I'll be here again to take your reviews and then we see the, the following film. So please enjoy the Melon Street. the producer of the film, show them some love and let's engage them in a picture. Please have this microphone and yeah. also have this one. Um, where do I start? Quickly this way. Okay, Mr. Ade, first of all, I just want to congratulate you for a very beautiful film that we have seen. Ladies and gentlemen, wasn't it beautiful? It was. Oh, truly it was. Um, yes, uh, we want to find out from you. Um, you as a director, you could have, I don't know how the story came to you, whether it was written by someone else that was given to you, but you could have explored other uh, storytelling techniques to tell this story visually, but I see you more like experimented or explore um, certain tricks that are very unconventional, especially how we know regular stories are told. Are told. Why specifically for this film you chose to tell it in this particular way? Oh, <laughs> I thought you were done for that. <laughs> so usually, in my approach to especially short films, I usually unconventional. Why I feel like uh, you're not limited in what you can do when you go experimental. I mean, editing, um, cinematography, and then in terms of writing. So I wanted to write something that would be different, something that would stand out. So that's basically what we did. Uh, Maybe you also answer this one. I would just want to find out from you. I mean, as the producer, uh, if you if you saw the film, you agree with me that this film was very reflective or retrospective of a person and what happens in our in our minds and in our heart, the, the thought processes that we go through in accepting ourselves, accepting a particular concept. Why is it so important to you as a producer to want to tell? kind of story that speaks to our personality. The very first time I read the screenplay, mm -hmm. I had a conversation with the director and asked him why you know the story. Mm -hmm. And he told me about one song we normally sing in our churches. Yeah, na, na, no. mm -hmm. yeah, na, na, no. that song. And he always thought that that song was, was bad. Because you can't say that ancestors worship uh, idols, but we will worship, you know, God, you know. But then people have different perspectives to life. People have different beliefs. You cannot box uh, everybody in one, you can't put everyone in one box. And so um, when I had that conversation with him and I read the screenplay again, I really understood because having conversations with him, I know how he thinks and I know how he sees the world. And so yes, I agree with you. It's very provoking, I know, but it's something that can also get people thinking because you cannot uh, say that because you belong to a particular religion or you have certain beliefs, everyone should also have the same mindset. Wow, okay. I think it really got us thinking. And ladies and gentlemen, just want to take one feedback from you. Anything you want to tell them. Therefore, I will help us with the microphone. 
any um, feedback, concerns, or yes, anything you just want to share with the director or the producer of the film before they take their seats. And so anyone, okay, we have someone here, so Jennifer, please give him the microphone. Yes. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I must say this, this is something like, when I say short film, this is what I want to see. It's not something you see every day. Mm -hmm. And it kind of um, give us something to think about as Ghanaians. Yeah. However, what I was really itching to see is the fact that she would actually get the coin and there would be a man on a boat who would come to take her away. Like, I was really hoping to get something like that at the end. I mean, ideally we could, but once again, budget restrictions. So, and, uh, I, of course, we want to do storytelling in a way that's really fair. So, you can just once again, without the show. All right, thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. It has been. Okay, another question? Okay, last question here. All right. It's more of a statement, All right. than not a question. I loved it. I came in late a little bit, so I didn't see the beginning. It was visually arresting, it was simple. Uh, you speak about budget, but you treated this in a way where, I mean, how many characters and yet is gripping. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing more from you as a director. And I think you should push yourself and do a full length. With what I saw, congratulations, well done. Wow, 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 wow. All right, I think we have one last question for you, and then we go to the next one. So let's take this question. Yeah, hello, uh, thank you for sharing your phone with us. Um, yeah, you mentioned you know, like budget restrictions, and I'm just wondering if you can talk a bit about maybe some of the compromises you had to make during production, you know, things that you shelved because they weren't within budgets you know, or other things. Yeah, thank you. Uh, before I say anything, of course, she did a song to the thing, so she wasn't just a producer, she was the one who did the final score. Okay, first of all, budgets were such that, in a way, um, certain locations that we wanted, I mean, although we got the kind of locations that had to get appealing, but then we couldn't travel outside the craft to explore more in terms of locations. And then I think even the shooting, in shooting it, um, we had to compromise and shoot for three days, so this thing was shot in three days. And luckily, too, I think um, there was a thing where, even though you're restricted, but then you get people to help you out. So one thing I would say about this film is that everybody is late on end credit. It was a collaborative effort because everybody just put their own. We went to a foreman um, where we shot most part of the film. And then there was this woman that we had never met before. And then we spoke to her and they said, okay, we have a house here. So when you watch the scene, the interior, the hat, what you think is the hat, basically it was just a normal room like this. But then we got a building that was about to be demolished. And they allowed us to do texture coating and transform the interior into the art. So maybe we probably would have gone outside of a crack and get something. But then, I mean, visually it still works. And then, so we got people who at every point in time were ready to support the production. So that's what we would say that, I mean, uh, there were lots of restrictions. All right. Thank you so much. And that is what we have been. Thank you. And please have your seats. Thank you so much. That was in our hearts. The spirit of collaboration is what we have been preaching since the beginning of this festival. And so, ladies and gentlemen, please emulate this procedure in making your film or something you want to really develop. And then we shall also make it a point. If it's, if it's submitted to the festival, to also screen it for us to review it. And the concept of this um, screening is also that the filmmakers are able to get feedback from their work and then also see how they're able to develop it if they have intentions to do a feature out of it. So ladies and gentlemen, please, when it's time for you to share your reviews or your comments, do well to do that. And thank you. We are taking the next film, ladies and gentlemen, after we... Ah, we have a party coming right after this film. So ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the high life. So the average person couldn't get it, and they called it high life for high class people. I don't even think the musicians that were playing at the time would have been able to get it if they were in the band. <laughs>
Thank you. Um, how should we start? Do you want to comment first? No, let me comment first. No. Then we get to you. Um, okay, and then you are you are right beside me. Beautiful performance in the film by by all standards. And just let us understand. I know how uh, these stories or these cultures mean so much to you. But let me know how how did you get to be casted for this film and did you find it difficult to play the role that you played? very natural and he reached out to me and said we've actually been trying to work together for a long time before this film and then once the opportunity came he reached out and he said that he has like the perfect um, role for me to play in his short film so I mean of course Andy and I have been friends for a long time so once he reached out we're like, here yeah, now and this happened. The on the set was It was perfect, like, wow. it was all just... Wow, yeah. yes. And, yeah. and now let me come to the script. Andy, uh, this is more like a documentary, trying to tell the story of our very own highlight that we love so much. And the manner in which you approached this documentary or this story about our highlight is very, very exceptional. Uh, let us understand your thought process or your creative process why and how you decided to tell our story or the story of my life in this manner using this approach? Yes, um, it's, it's a little personal. I, I, I had a very old dad who did like listen to more radio, so there was not a lot of TV in my childhood, so it was a lot of Ghanaian radio and high life dominates Ghanaian radio, so it was a, a genre that I connected to as a young, as a young boy and it helped me learn tree, you know, it, it was magical to me. The lyricism, the structure, the, like, the brilliance of it was always with me. And as I grew, I always wondered why we didn't give it more like, attention, why we didn't appreciate it as much as we could. And I always wanted to do something about it. So it's quite like, it draws from my personal experience. It's a genre I'm really, really passionate about, and I'm just happy I got to do something with it. And now, I am a creative myself. If it was to, if it was me to tell the story of her life, I would probably do like a documentary with uh, Amachi the Day, Ambule, and the likes. But the manner in which you plucked and played the new generation into this whole narrative, and also infusing Khan in the, it's, it's phenomenal. How 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 did that come about? Especially the part of Akan in session and his performance in the film. Was it planned? How, how did that one go through? Yes, I would like to take the credit for that, but it's not all me. I would have loved to take all the credit, but it's not all me. It's, um, it's inspired, it's based on an album by DJ Juice, Juice, we all know Juice, right? Yeah. Juice, Juice Baby. Yeah. And um, he put together a beautiful album with all these artists. It had like LTVs, it had Kitty, it had Akan, and so on and all of that. So it was the framework, it was the environment that we, we took inspiration from. and. He set the tone, you know. He funded it. He made it possible, and we're very grateful to him for that. Yeah. Oh, let's let's all shout him out. Oh, shout out to him. <laughs> all right, um, let's take your 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 feelings or your comments about this film that we just watched briefly, and then we can now get our party started. So, ladies and gentlemen, any question, feedback, comments from the audience? If you have a word to encourage them to do more or anything. So, anyone ready with a question? Yes, we have a question here. So, Jim Fua, please help us at the back here. And uh, maybe after that, we take the last question and then we are off to our part.
Wow, I would like to give a shout out to Kwame Black, John Mark and Arsene Matrogafa. He's incredible, we have a beautiful relationship and he's also part of the reason why it looks the way it looks. So, yeah, shout out to Shout out to him. So ladies and gentlemen, a very final comment and then we are off to our party. Anyone? All right, there's someone here. Thank you. Short and beautiful. Um, the treatment, I mean, the story for me, the fact that you know you looked at a story that is unconventional. Um, and a simple story that we can all relate to and treat it so nicely with such vibrant colors. You paid attention to detail a lot. I mean, the, the scene, the costume, the props, the placement, the lights and all, I think is great. Um, so I would encourage you to do more. I wanted to see more. I was disappointed when it ended. So if that tells you anything. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, then thank you so much for being here and joining us to talk about this film, The High Life. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to party? Are we ready to party? members right here with us so if you can kindly join us let's engage you in a very simple conversation and then mr andrea dote is here and then yes please come thank you thank you so much wow please help this one and okay another microphone oh show her some love oh you're not seeing her right Oh, okay, another microphone. It's fine. You're not speaking. Okay. Oh, oh let, let us speak. Let us speak. Let us speak. Let us speak. Then you have to ask them something. Okay, let's start with you asking them something, and then they say something. So, uh, um, first of all, we've watched the film, a beautiful film by all standards. We want to take your comments and your feedback on this film and anything you want to share with the characters who were part of the film and then yes we will take it from there so anyone to ask a question okay there is a question right here we have to so therefore can you walk up to the microphone okay all right you sorry so that you share if it's time so use this one for the audience thank you there's a lady yes
Hi, um, beautiful story. Uh, dealing with a team that is still critical. You think that by now the talk on domestic violence should have ended, right? By now men are not beating men anymore, or women beating men anymore. But mm. um, I like the connection. It made a point that the, the, the topic is, um, is universal. It's not just situated here in Africa, but everywhere. And so kudos to all of you. Really beautiful picture. Um, the story with such a graceful actress in it. The little girl as well. And Andrew got the game. Uh, so we can hit the man. I, I wonder what happened to you. What were you arresting him? <laughs> I'm, wondering, I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> I, I personally didn't have a full idea of um, the story because I was just asked to come and play a specific part so I knew the central theme of the story but I didn't know, I, I couldn't, I hadn't seen the rest of it until tonight. Wow, so, oh, I thought you were clapping for that. Yeah, so all I knew was my scene and how it went, made sure it went well but as it relates to the rest of the film, now this is my first time seeing it so I'm watching it with you. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And let me quickly comment on the cookie box. I get to why you are saying you're not getting ah uh, because uh, yeah. in Ghana we don't call it box, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the um, the Christmas. <laughs> uh, the needle, the needle dress it's, it's, box. Uh, general item box. Yes. <laughs> but I like that when the woman opened it, it wasn't. I thought it would be biscuits in it, you know, because yes. she was drinking tea or something like that. It's quickly, I could relate and say, oh, it's not just in Ghana that we keep other things in that. Uh, biscuit box. Thank you. Well okay, so um, just want to find out. Uh, there's a question. Okay, there's a question. Let's take that one before I ask mine. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you so much for a beautiful film. Very well constructed. And you know, like, uh, Mauto pointed out, you know, like, uh, how this film touches on the injustice of uh, domestic violence. But I feel like what this film also does very beautifully is also talk about how sometimes immigrants to various countries face very dehumanizing uh, conditions, you know? And in this film, it's even more like your character, Palisa, has to help them solve the case before she is given the chance to mm -hmm. have access to what everyone else has access to, you know? Um, so yeah, like, very well done. Thank you so much, yeah. All right. Okay, so maybe this one, every one of you will answer this. We want to understand, okay, I want to understand. <laughs> Working on the film, as you have clearly indicated, you do not have a clear idea of exactly how the story is going to end or how it's going to be made up. But I just want you to share with us your experience on the set, how easy or smooth it was working with the director or the maker of the film. Uh, I do not know him in, in person, but by his name, I believe he is maybe a European or something. So how was it shooting with a cross-continent kind of um, producer or director and how it was on set? Um, interested to know. Okay. Um, it wasn't too different from, you know, uh, a typical set situation in Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it depends on the budget and things like that. This was a relatively smaller budget. And it was my man, Baoko here, who dragged me into it. Woo! Gave me a call and said, uh, Charlie, come and do this thing. Uh, because uh, I respect him so much and I don't want to disappoint him. I, 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 I decided to do it. But it was a basic, you know, situation. And uh, you realize that there wasn't really any lines in that situation. Where we're supposed to create a confrontational scene where uh, something was wrong, I had something, my character had something, you know, a grievance of some sort and decided to take it out on the, on the wife. So it was basically, okay, this is the scenario, this is what I want from you guys, see what you can do. And the actress also in the scene was very creative and yeah, she played off me very well, played off each other very well. And we came up with that, that particular scene. Yeah. Alessa, was that the name? Yes. Okay, Palesa, but you did the, the location in Accra or Ghana, and you did the location overseas as well, right? So, did you also have like a full picture of the film in itself, or you also get into know of the entire story now? I did. I did have the, an idea of what the story was about from the beginning. So, yes, I knew exactly what I was going to do. We shot the Malta bits first mm -hmm. before we shot the one in Ghana. So, yes. And 
is um, it's rather unfortunate that the director is not here. Adam, he's very passionate and he would have loved to be here uh, to have you all see this film. And, yeah. and one in his final question for you. Um, will you share with us your experience shooting here in Ghana uh, with the team, with the team and maybe the location and the crew on set? And how different was it from the one you did in Malta? Well, aside from shooting in different continents, I think um, the theme was the same. And um, we all had a clear vision when we were trying to achieve. So it wasn't very different on set, but yes, yeah, very different environmental ways. It's very different. It's different two different continents. It was, yeah, such an experience. All right. And it, uh, Mr. Ann, can you have the microphone to our little Palessa? What's the name? What's your full name? Hitman Abdul Razak. Uh, is, is, was that your first time experiencing a film, as in making film? You did extremely well. How, how were you able to you play the role? How did you prepare yourself for it? when we intend to pursue careers in the creative speed. So we thank you so much for inspiring her and pushing her to achieve her dream. Thank you all so much for joining us for this film. Ladies and gentlemen, show them some love as they take their stage. And now let's get it.
Ghost of Love. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a beautiful film. Oh, as we're doing here already, we, we, we show our level of uh, interest in the film by showing them appreciation, by shouting and clapping for them. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Madunga. Wow. And we have, uh, we are happy to have with us some cast. And I don't know, some crew members with us as well. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome the cast from Manuka. Please join me here and let's show some love to you. Oh, please join me here and you can do more. conversations about the film. <laughs> First of all, congratulations, beautiful film by all standards. Um, is the writer here or the director? Okay, so we have the cast here. Beautiful story by all standards. Uh, it explores so much about African spirituality and all that. I want to find out first of all, um, you were cast in the film. We want to understand, especially these stories are very, very, very uh, unconventional in the fact that we do not talk much about spirituality in this way that we do talk about. I mean, the majority of time that we have seen film on African spirituality, we've seen uh, the works of Chewa and those things being manifested in our local films, but spirituality is being explored in a way that it's thought-provoking and it's intriguing and that even though it's a short film, like it has really triggered our interest and we really want to watch more. As actors on the set, we want to understand from you, first of all, how do you, do you personally connect to the film and the story that is being told? Uh, well, uh, personally, when I had the support from my legs, I went through the script and it was kind of different, so I was thinking about it. Then I asked him to share with me the idea behind it, and then he sent me um, the screenplay and every all the things. I saw the costumes and all those things, and I was so intrigued. I was like, come on, when are we doing this? You can hear me. I'm actually standing by a beautiful lady, so I can't lost the voice. Okay, so everything that happened so quickly, I accepted it because it was coming from Alex. See if you guys can see the uh, effects and everything. Malex is crazy. Malex, thank you so much. What I watched was even beyond my imagination. But um, yes, I fell in love with what he shared and the idea behind it. And it's different. He told me, he assured me it was going to be different. And I, I got into it previously from Malex's uh, previous work. So I just saw it. I'm so on it. I just joined it. And the uh, experience I had on set was, was good. Working with it, he was, was wonderful. And uh, I loved everything about it. Before you answer the same question, please give it to Eti. Before you answer the same question, let me congratulate you. I mean, I've seen uh, you play different roles, like in, in other films that I've watched you in. But this one, I would say, it was really, you really pushed yourself. I mean, this is not the regular Eti that I watch. And also, so in just answering the same question of how you, first of all, approach the role, and then your relationship with the story and how it relates to you. Uh, I think I think for me it's quite different because I was actually involved in the whole process of the story and all of that. So I'll say um, in a way I'm personally involved into this story. So I mean, if you watch some part of it, you realize that um, the character was my real name or yeah. something. So for me, the script I mean, when Malex, he is the creator, when he came to me with the idea that, okay, Eddie, I want us to do this, I was like, okay, I mean, what he, what he sold me, I bought into it, and we got some people together, and also, um, I don't know, 
well done and here we are now. So wow. I'm personally attached. Wow. So, now let's get to Malex. This is a beautiful film by all standards. I mean, the visual effects are also mind blowing. And first of all, let's look into the theme that you wish to explore and how you think it's so much important that we tell this story, especially in this time that we are in. All right. Um, this is. Um, like we just watched, um, it has the Pan African vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, initially, I mean, there is this. Um, I, I am an editor as well, so I edited the VFX as well. So, oh, please. So, after from him. my experience, as the jobs have been going, I mean, in the past and first growing up in Ghana and also in Nigeria as well and all that. I actually wanted uh, a different feel to the. We, we, this is not the first time we are actually seeing the juju or kind of yeah. kind of storyline that kind of thing. But I was sort of looking for something different in a way. Uh, at the same time, telling the African story, but um, which regards to my one of one of the major major aspects of this whole thing was. Um, Focus on production quality storyline. As you can see, this is not the entire thing, though. Mm -hmm. So this is a short piece showing uh, it's, it's it's an actual what you call it feature uh, thing. Okay. So this is a short piece showing insights of the kind of view we're going for. So I'm going to leave Eti to talk about um, the, the the full feature. Yeah. No, 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 no. The other aspects we're, we're, we're okay. looking out for. All right, so Eti, um, as uh, Malik did say, it's a work in progress. And we want to know maybe what are the plans for it and what we should expect from, from your company. Okay, so um, that was what I've been wanting to say I mean, earlier because um, in as much as the, what you've seen right now is quite enjoyable and I'm sure you want more, I mean, it's good to, um, I am a business person. I believe in testing the waters. Mm -hmm. I also believe that um, to achieve something great, especially like what you saw right now, it involves a lot. And um, I mean, looking at me, we all know what's up. I'm still starting, but I'm hoping for collaborations to bring out this great piece. At the moment, me together with my team, we are working tirelessly in order for this film to come to life and we are going to make it happen. So if you're here and you've seen this, you buy it to me. You should come and wear this. Let's cheers, let's cheers to that. Thank you so much for joining us. Any comments, any review? All right, thank you so much for joining I know, us. I know, I know. Thank you too, but there's one question everybody has been asking me. Right. I don't know if I should ask for all. Please ask. Oh, I mean, I keep getting it. Um, were you really naked? Were you really naked? I mean, when you watch the first scene, you see something like that. Yeah. So I wasn't totally naked, okay? There was, um, let's say, 80% of the work that was done on set. So, I mean, I went a little bit extreme, but when it comes to post-production, my, my boss here also, you know, played a part. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, yes. And now that is going to answer. And you're going to answer. Okay, let's go. I was going to ask them, what does Mugunga mean? Okay. And then to Sadia. What does Madunga mean? Okay. And to can we have more of the local language your mother spoke? Right. Um, yes, because if some of the other ones that we've watched, wherever it is that the movie is coming from, we get to see. We get to hear them speaking their local languages mm -hmm. in Tinamu Kadu. Okay. Since they are, I don't yes. know, it's social as they're rendering. Uh, subtitles. Uh -huh. Subtitles. Since they are subtitles. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me um, answer the question. So, first of all, um, Madunga is something we cooked up on our own. Mm -hmm. Initially, we were thinking about, I mean, some other names, but you know how these things can get. We don't want a situation okay. where someone come and call, oh, you use my name, you did this. So we sat down as a team, put our minds together, and gave it my 
So Madunga say is is ours, yeah. Let me put it like that. Aside that, with, with, with regards with regards to the local language, yes, of course. Um, that's actually my local dialect, and like I said, this is just um, a work in progress. So when the full film comes out, definitely I'm gonna get some good percentage of the local dialect. Okay, so one last question and then we are off to our next film. Okay, okay so this is not uh, a question, it's more like a statement. Okay. Um, I was just going to say that uh, I'm very excited to see people our age putting themselves in a position to produce and pull colleagues on. I mean, if we have more people doing that, then we'll have more actors in Ghana working. Yes. And I think we should all give them a big round of applause for doing that. Let's call up the ring. But that's a little bit. Actually, we will know how bad producing the movie is. So, guys, well done. And thank, you. thank you very much for this thank movie. You. And I love the makeup, especially the dogs. Ah, Christy! Thank you. And I also love your specific choice of locations. It was so marvelous. If, were they all in Ghana? I was in Ghana. Wow, oh, Charlie Ghana, 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 Okay, thank you so much for being here with us. Well Is that a question? Okay, let's take this last one and then. I just want to say a big uh, um, applause, round of applause to them for putting that step in the right direction. Uh, thanks for inspiring others. Um, you saw the movie, you saw the shots. It's amazing. Love you. Keep pushing the one, keep challenging this last one. Thank you so much and thank you for joining us. All right, now we... Yeah. Uh -huh. 